So, what is photosynthesis, you ask? Well, it is just a thing that happens in plants and algae with sunlight to create food for a plant. A plant changes carbon dioxide into sugar for itself and puts out oxygen as a waste product that we can use to breathe. Photosynthesis takes place inside chloroplasts. Inside the chloroplasts, there is the stroma and thylakoids. In the thylakoid membrane, there are photosystems. Inside photosystems, there's chlorophyll and other pigments that absorb light rays that excite electrons from water splitting in the reaction center. When two molecules of water split, they form four electrons, four protons, and an oxygen molecule. After the electrons get excited, they go through the electron transport system till they reach PS1, where they get re-excited for more light rays to exit the thylakoid membrane to form NADPH, which is formed by NADP plus being combined with a proton and two electrons. The H plus atoms from the water splitting causes the ATP synthase to spin to combine ADP and phosphate to form ATP. Hmm, I see, I see. However, you are not wiser than me, because I know what actually happens to the NADPH and ATP. They are used in the Calvin cycle with carbon dioxide to actually make the sugar. You have not explained this. I will not give up. Thou art not wiser than me. The Calvin cycle involves three carbon dioxide molecules combining with an REBP, of which forms three six carbon REBPs, which immediately split into six PGA. After six ATP and NADPH come and a series of enzyme reactions, the PGA forms PGAL. One of the PGAL leaves the carbon cycle and five of them continue on, of which, through a series of enzymatic reactions, we form the three REBP in the beginning. As light intensity increases, the rate of photosynthesis increases as well but then levels off after it reaches a maximum point or the light saturation point. As temperature increases, the rate of photosynthesis also increases, but after temperature has gone too high, it begins to decline. As the CO2 concentration increases over the oxygen concentration, the rate of photosynthesis increases. Well, fine. That's dandy and everything, but who needs that? What you really need to know is why carbon doesn't disappear in the atmosphere if photosynthesis uses it. Hmm? You don't know that? It's called the carbon cycle. The first stage in the carbon cycle is the use of CO2 by plants for photosynthesis turning the carbon in CO2 into the form of glucose or sugar. The organic carbon in glucose can go two main routes, one of which is animal consumption. When an animal eats a photosynthetic organism, it absorbs the carbon contained in glucose and retains it until it dies and decomposes. When this happens, the organic carbon is released into the ground and becomes a carbon-based fossil fuel that we can use today to fuel our cars and light our homes. 
When we use these fossil fuels, CO2 is released back into the atmosphere from the power plants or our car exhaust pipes, where plants can use it for photosynthesis again. Another path in the, of the carbon cycle is much shorter. After photosynthesis, the animal that eats the plant gives off CO2 as a waste product from cellular respiration, sending the CO2 back into the atmosphere. This can be referred to as the natural carbon cycle. Oh, fine. Congratulations. You're smarter than an imaginary old man. What do I care? I'm fake. Wait, where did you go through? Please take that off. Yeah. You can see it. It needs light. No, it's the only...